Hi, and welcome back to No Cabin Fever today. Um, with us today, we have Sandra from Mindville. Um, she will tell us a little bit about how to automate your HR onboarding process with Insight and Jira Service Desk. And without further ado, I'd like to hand over to Sandra. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to be here. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen. So again, my name is Sandra and I'm a channel manager at Mindwill. So just a little background about myself before we start. I have been working with Atlassian tools and apps for about 12 years and with insight from Mindwill for just over two years. So about Mindwill. Uh, Mindwill is the company behind Insight and Mindwill is formerly known as Riata, a Swedish company founded in 2012. Today our team consists of 48 employees in four different countries, Sweden, Canada, Germany and Iceland. The Insight platform consists of 14 different apps. It's Insight itself, Insight Discovery for network scanning, and 12 integration apps to help Insight manage assets from various platforms, such as AWS, Google Cloud, SCCM, Azure, Device42, and more. So today, Insight has over 2,700 customers in over 100 countries, and we work with over 160 partners around the world that can provide both consultancy services, training and license services for the Insight platform. So for newcomers, what is Insight exactly? Insight is basically a database of anything you want. It's to, uh, how you, it allows you to map anything in Jira that is not an issue. So we know examples of customers using it to manage their IT assets, some use it to map users, client relations, and human resources, and even their licenses. In addition to manage any kind of assets, you can also create, create relationships between the assets, which will add more power to Insight. So in our case, we're gonna show you how to automate your HR onboarding process with Insight. And um, just, um, it was interesting to attend the presentation yesterday when we saw Asil from uh, Cyber Media present Linchpin for employee onboarding. And I actually think the product complement um, each other as Insight is more focused on preparing for the employee arrival and the follow-ups by managers, while Linchpin is more focused on the employee experience and assisting the employee in getting started within the company. So with further ado, let's go and dive into the demo. So uh, here we have Insight and it's running on Jira server. We are looking at an Insight schema, which is called the people schema. And here on the left hand side, we can see object types where we are managing departments, employees, roles, trainings, etc. And I have uh, the selection is on employees, which means that the list here is a list of objects, which in this case are employees within the company. What is interesting here in this image is that we have not only a list of employees, but we have numerous information about the employee. One of them that we will uh, looking into further when we continue with the demo as the status of the employee. In this case, you can see that the status is onboarded and we can also see references so we can see what computers this particular employee is using, uh, the location, smartphones and so on. So these are employees that are all either onboarded in the onboarding phase or have already been offboarded or left the company. So let's hire a new employee and start to prepare for his or her arrival. To do that, we go to the Jira service desk. So we have a dedicated project for the onboarding and offboarding of employees. And we will start off by creating an onboard employee request. So we click on onboarding a new employee and what we will need to enter here is the name of the new employee, 
which in this case is Sarah P. We need to enter the start date for the employee. So we will assume that she starts on May 22nd. And then we have several inside custom fields. So these are custom fields pointing to the object schema I just showed you. For example, we need to say who will be Sarah's manager. And in this case, it will be Grace Hopper. Then we need to fill in the role that Sarah is going to fill. And she's going to be a product manager located in Stockholm. And we are going to select what type of computer she needs to get that needs to be ready before her arrival. And that's a MacBook Pro. And then she wants an iPhone 11 Pro. So this is all the information we need to fill in. And we simply just create the request. So this will kickstart the onboarding process. So now we're going to move over to the, from the help center to the queue where um, we can see a list of uh, requests that need to be uh, processed. So this is the view where the person who processes the requests will um, look into. We can see the newly created issue and the summary is Sarah Peen. And we can also see that it has automatically been assigned to Mary. So let's open the request and see what happened. So I told you that this is how we can automate the process. So when we created the request, there were a bunch of things that happened automatically. First of all, based on the information we entered in the issue, we created an object for the, newly, um, for the new employee called Sarah Peen. We can see the role, the uh, department that she is going to belong to, who her manager is, the location, and then we can see that her status is set to pre-boarding. We can click on her to see details and dive even further into it if we wish to do so. So this is an object in Insight. We also uh, filled in automatically the HR assistant field and we were able to do that automatically based on the location where Sarah will be at. So we filled in the HR assistant and that's how we were able to assign the issue automatically. So Mary is now responsible for the whole process of onboarding Sarah. Another thing that happened uh, during this creation phase is that we created related issues. So these, in uh, the first step, we created four different issues that need to, so these are things that need to happen before she actually arrives to work. So we need to create a Jira account and an Active Directory account and grant her system access to the systems that she will be working with. Then we need to make sure that the phone is in place, the computer is in place, and her workplace is all set up. So let's look into the Jira issue of the creation of accounts first. So we click on that. And here we can see again, link to the employee object. And then we have another field here that is an insight field called system access. So here we can see all the systems that where we need to grant SARA access. And this field is filled in automatically based on the employee's role. So let's assume that uh, the system access has already been created and we're going to close this request. So we click on done. And here we need to fill in the newly created Jira user for SARA. So we just find the Jira user, we link it to the employee object, and we're done. If we look at the object now, we can see that the Jira user here, Sarah Peen, has been linked to the Sarah Peen inside object. So now we get na can navigate back to the parent issue, and we can see that we have created the account, so that is done. So let's take a look at the computer. So we know that um, every new employee needs a computer and Sara or her manager has requested a MacBook Pro. So the next step in the phase of ordering or getting the computer ready is to find a computer 
either choose from inventory or order a new computer. So we click on choose or order computer. And here we have computer for in, from inventory. And we look up to see if there are any available MacBook Pros. So in this case, there aren't any because there are no matches. So leaving the field empty means that we need to order one. So we will leave it blank and confirm. So now we can see that a new hardware needs to be purchased and it's a MacBook Pro and the user will be Sarah Peen and she is located in Stockholm. So the computer is in procurement. Now we have the computer, so the computer has arrived in house, so we need to pick up. So Sarah's manager can now come and pick up the computer to get it ready for her first day. So when it's ready for pickup, then we change the asset status to in storage. And then just before she arrives, we deliver the computer to her workstation. And now the asset status has been changed to in service. And the, this issue is done. So we go back to the parent task and uh, let's just go through the phone request as well before continuing. So we can see that she wants an iPhone 11 Pro. We're gonna choose or order a phone. And in this case, we actually have a phone. But the problem with this phone is that it's in London, but she is in Stockholm. So we're gonna decide that um, we're actually gonna have it shipped over. So we choose the phone and we order it. Now we can see that uh, Sara has been added as an owner to the phone in London. So now we need to ship the phone from London to Stockholm. And when that's done, we say that it's ready for pickup. The only thing that happened there was that the location of the phone was changed. Then we deliver the phone and it's updated to end service. So now if we go back to the object schema and we refresh this, we should be able to find Sarah in the list of employees. So here we can see Sarah, she's been created. She's in the pre-boarding phase and we can see that she already has a computer associated to her and a smartphone. So everything is about to be ready for her arrival apart from the workplace setup. So here we can see connected Jira issues that are already uh, still unresolved. So going back to the issue, we're just gonna go to the parent task and we'll just assume that the fourth issue is um, closed and she is ready for day one. So now we are ready for day one and what happened when we um, transitioned the issue is that we created more linked issues. So now we have an issue for meet and greet on the first day, sign the NDA, complete orientations. So these three tasks were created in addition to the ones that we had before. If we just look at the orientation ones, we can see that automatically we have added orientation that she needs to go through on her first day. And then this goes on like this. We, we click on day one done. Then we um, automatically add some more tasks for things that need to be um, done follow in the following week. We need to hold the first follow-up meeting, complete mandatory trainings. And then when week one is done, we get even additional tasks to make sure that we have a follow-up meeting one month later. Then when after the month has passed, the onboarding process is done and Sara is officially onboarded. So just to finish up, um, just to emphasize, so we, what we just did is that we um, have now shown how Insight can be used with automation in Jira workflows to automate the process of onboarding employees. 
This was just one of many use cases because we have customers that use Insight for various use cases, such as the ones that you see. And that's it. So thank you so much for listening. And do you have any questions? I can ask them. Thank you very much, Sen. Uh, okay. So if there is no more question um, to the presentation of Sandra, then uh, thanks again for everyone for tuning in today. And we hope to see you back tomorrow um, to talk by uh, Christian Reichert from Resolution. And he will tell you a little bit about uh, the Jiren Conference APIs. So um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day and take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.